In this video, we're going to talk about referrals and how to find referral agents around the world. So you're going to come into Command and we're going to go to the Referrals icon. From here, we're going to go to Map. And this allows us to search in an area by a map. This allows us to search in an area by production to see who has sold in a specific area, the market centers or offices nearby, anybody that's already in your network, and even the ability to sort by referral patterns. That way you can see who's sending referrals to your area and where are referrals from your area going out. A great way to network with other agents. So if I leave it on production, let's say I have family who want to move to Chicago, Illinois. So I can just start typing in Chicago, come to Illinois, and let's say they tell me, you know what, we're looking over in the Hyde Park area. Great. So I can actually move this map and start zooming in to that area. And you'll notice on the right-hand side, the list is adjusting. So as they go in, all these little green numbers, by the way, are number of transactions by Keller Williams agents in the last 12 months in that area. So as they come in, I can see Alex Wolking, who is actually a friend of mine, and he actually has one closed unit in that area, 36 closed units. He's an individual agent. He has 17 list and 16 buy side. And I can see his volume. If I go down, I can see Michael Langdon, and he has five closings in the area. So it allows me to start getting in, and I see he has a team because there's a team icon right next to his picture. So his team and he is doing that. If I come down to Ashley, I can see one closed sale in this area. So it's your ability to not only narrow it down, but to see who's there and who we have in the area. Now, you have a couple options. I can click here to add them to my referral network and just send a message. And I also have the ability to send a referral by clicking the little icon right here, putting in the information, is it a buyer, seller, tenant, landlord, what's the referral fee, and giving them a deadline of you have to accept by X date information about the price and quick notes. Now this is just the snapshot. Then it allows me to get the information from my database. So let's say it was me as an example. I could pull up my information and it will pull up my contact card from the system and allow me to send it over. Now don't worry, Alex can't see that unless he agrees to my terms for our referral fee, whether that's low or higher, whatever you want. 25 is just placed there and I can make the deadline five hours, six hours, 12 hours, you can change that as well. And then I would just click send. So that's an example of how to find one. You also can filter to the right here. Maybe I'm looking for just luxury agents in the area, apply filter. And if I look at the luxury agents in that division, I might have to zoom out a little bit to see who is considered part of the luxury division. And first person is showing up, here we go. I've got Peter, 91 closed units if I go with this whole area and he and his team and he's part of the luxury division. I can also come here and switch that to say, you know what, I need a commercial agent. Apply filter, there you go. Here's the commercial agents in the area that are part of the KW commercial division. Maybe I'm looking for a young professional. And I even would say, you know what, I want you to at least have closed two units and at least have sold, let's say five listings. So I'm looking for a listing agent in the area, so then maybe I wanna say at least five or six apply filter and here we go I just narrowed it down to say okay out of those I've got Josh with 51 closings in the area and he's a young professional and I've got Tommy as well he's a young professional at 52 so I can choose which one of these what I want to connect with to list and I can see on the listing sold side 70 and 70 so I love that you can filter by those to narrow it down I can even just see who's in coaching in the area that I can talk to and have discussions around, hey, here's fellow people part of that. So I know Ann Rosen personally, and she's got 12 closings in the area. She's got 11 listings sold, four buy side, does about 4 million in sales, and I already have a relationship with her, so I can easily add her to my network. And if I had a family member who's ready to sell, I can actually send that here, put in the information, and send it over to have a conversation with her. So that's one great way. Another way you can do it is to do a broadcast referral, which is, I don't know who the agent is yet. I'm just gonna broadcast to the area that I have somebody who's interested based on my search criteria. Remember, we narrowed this down to say, who has at least sold more than five listings in the area and is part of the MAPS coaching division. And from here, if I hit broadcast, I'm probably confident with all of them since they're in coaching and have at least sold five listings to do a listing side. So here's the seller's information. I can put this in 
I can show my identity if I want in case they know me and recognize me. And then I can put the client's information down below. And sending the broadcast means 24 hours at this term and whoever grabs it first and responds is the one who I'm most likely to work with. So that's another great way that you can take advantage of that. Now let's say I didn't want to filter by this. I'm just looking for an office. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just looking for an office in America. How do I find the offices? So still staying in Chicago, I can come here to market centers. And based on our area of where we're looking, it's going to show me what offices exist in this area. So we've got one in Lincoln Park and one in Oak Lawn. I can click on these to see how many agents are there. So 77 agents. There's Alex again. There's Joe Zimmerman. I know a lot of these people. And I've also got the Oakland office in case this is the area that might be closer. Actually, that's where I was born, Payless Heights. So this is an area that I can send people to and say, okay, who do I know in this area? Again, I can come down here to see who's done what. By the way, you can also sort. So I could sort by first name, last name, closed units, listings sold, buy side and leases. So maybe I'm just looking for who sold the most listings in that office. And it is going to show me Ron Rexler. I know him as well. It's going to show me Molly. And I can come in here and then at least narrow down to who would be the person to build a relationship with. And again, connect with them or broadcast it to the whole office of the people that qualify and say, hey, Oak Lawn, I've got someone who's looking in the area. So these are just some methods that you can do. By the way, my network, I can already see in this area who am I connected with. So if I narrow it down by just my network, it is going to show me all the people I've already connected with. So I've got Gene, I've got Ryan, i got Pam, and I've got Joe. Joe's another friend of mine, so I already have him connected. And he's sold over 17 listings in the area. He's north in the Lincoln Park area. So if I have a referral, guess what? I don't have to go searching for a person. I can just remind myself that Joe is in my area. Obviously, you can go all over America, narrow this down. So now I can see a visual. There's Ron Rexler again. I've got Downers Grove. I've got people here. And it allows me to narrow down. Here are my people in Indianapolis. And I love the fact that you can do that for all of this. So if I'm looking for market centers, this will show me all the offices around the Midwest. If I do it by my network again, production is going to be too far out, so it won't show me much. And then I've got the ability, ultimately, to also see referrals. Referral patterns are broken up into two places. I could see where have we sent the most referrals and where we received the most referrals. So if I actually go to my area in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, here's where me and my team are located. And guess what? We are sending referrals to these areas. So most of our referrals are going to New York from our area. A lot are going to Orlando, Tampa, Georgia, inside Florida and Bonita Springs, Tennessee, Chicago, do you see how I can start making this say, you know what, maybe these are the network partners I need. I need someone in Orlando to quickly refer business to. I need someone in New York. I can also reverse that. Where are we getting the most referrals from? Here's where all the referrals are coming. A lot of our referrals actually come from Miami to Fort Lauderdale. So you may be surprised by that, and it might be a good time to connect with some Miami agents as well. Orlando, Asheville, North Carolina, Aventura, Tucson, Arizona, so I can start connecting with people there. Pembroke Pines, New York. Most people are coming from New York to Florida and not as many people going from Florida to New York. So this just allows me to see where that is. That's the way to use this. That's the way that you can take advantage of this to find people. And I love that this is all just built into the system. So I can literally go anywhere. If I needed someone in Nashville, Tennessee, it pulls up with Google Maps. I can already start seeing who is selling in these areas. I can narrow down by maybe just East Nashville, double click on the map, come into East Nashville, and start seeing who are gonna be those agents. I know a lot of these people as well. And I can now sort them, maybe just showing me who has the most listings sold in this map area, which would be David and his team. And I can get some information about them and then I can add them to my network and connect. Take advantage of this system. Use the referrals to find some that you're looking for. Yes, there are Facebook groups. However, a lot of times it's just a popularity contest, which isn't good or bad. However, I don't always have the validity of the data. 
So I don't know, is this person really the best in the area? And in the neighborhood I'm going into, do they even have experience there? This allows you to match the validity of what you're looking for to say, you know what, I'm looking at East Nashville. Who's going to serve my client the best who knows the area? And then the data can support this. And you can interview a couple agents, reach out to them, broadcast the referral to see who's the first person to respond so that we know they're going to respond quickly to our clients and go through that process. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect and YouTube today.